Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to the second part of uh, implementing a recycler view. So in this second part uh, we are going to implement uh, on-click listener for our uh, recycler view. And uh, as you can see in the previous video we have uh, implemented the, the recycler view and uh, all the images and uh, text views here inside. So uh, in this tutorial now we are going to proceed next. And uh, we can create... Uh, first we are going to create a new activity because uh, when a user clicks on some of those items inside the recycler view, we want uh, to navigate him uh, inside the second activity in which uh, he will see more details information about uh, each of those. So let's name this activity, for example, second activity. Okay. And uh, in uh, activity second uh, layout file, we're going to add the image view. Let's add just uh, first image here. It doesn't matter at this moment. It will uh, change dynamically. Don't worry. So uh, first, let's connect all, uh, connect all those constraints here uh, in our layout. So left, uh, right, uh, and top. Uh, top maybe can be, for example, 220 or maybe just 200. Okay, and next we're going to add two text views, which will represent the programming language uh, title and uh, description, of course. So let's change the IDs of those uh, elements here. Uh, image view will be main image view. Uh, the second, the first text view will be uh, title. Okay, and the third one or the second one uh, will be description. And now we are going to add a few more attributes here inside text views. Uh, so I want to add the text size and the text style maybe. So text size for the title can be uh, 40 SP. And uh, text size for uh, description can be 30 SP with uh, style normal. Okay, and now let's connect those constraints for those two text views as well. So the text view, the first text view will be connected to the image view. So let's connect the top constraint of uh, of that to a top to a bottom constraint of image view like that. And uh, maybe top constraint could be 100 but we might change that in the later in the video, don't worry. And this one, uh, left, right and top constraint connected as well. So left and right should be zero. So we can move this element around with no problem. Okay. And now I think it's uh, pretty good now. We can change that uh, later, as I said. So uh, next what we are going to do, uh, we're going to go on Android manifest file and inside the second activity, we're going to add a parent activity, which is main activity. That basically means that uh, whenever we are um, in a second activity, uh, we will uh, see a back button and it will navigate automatically to a main activity when we press that. Okay, and uh, now let's uh, add here in our my row uh, layout. We're going to add the ID for our root uh, constraint layout because we need that for uh, implementing a click listener. So inside my adapter, uh, we are going to add a constraint layout object inside the my view holder. And we're going to find the ID of that uh, layout, constraint layout. Okay. And now uh, we can uh, set on click listener inside the on bind uh, view holder. So here we're, we're going to use a holder object to find uh, our root uh, constraint layout, which is main layout. And we're going to set on click listener here. And just pass the uh, on click listener like that. Okay. And uh, here we are going to create the intent object like this. And we are going to pass uh, a context here. And the second parameter will be a second activity class. Okay. So uh, in the intent object, we are going to pass uh, three values. Uh, one for a title, a second for description, and the third one for uh, image. So we're going to use a um, put extra method, and uh, we're going to say the name for the first data, uh, data one, uh, and uh, it will dynamically get uh, a title from our uh, string array, and uh, the second one the same, and the third one as well. We're going to use just uh, different, uh, different. Uh, image view so my image 
Oh no. Uh, no, I typed the wrong. Uh, so instead my image, I need to use uh, images uh, variable because uh, that's the correct one. So position. And uh, after that, we're going to use a context object in order to use a start activity method. And we're going to pass the intent. So that's it for uh, our uh, my adapter. And now in a second activity, uh, let's uh, we can create uh, those uh, objects for text views and uh, image view. So let's add that first. Okay, title and description. And we're going to find the ID of those uh, elements inside the onCreate method, of course. Okay. And uh, after we do that, uh, we're going to create two uh, different methods. Uh, one for uh, getting the data, which we passed uh, inside uh, intent. And the second uh, set data, in which we are going to set the data uh, to our uh, elements, uh, which is two text views and one image view, of course. So uh, let's create those two methods. Okay, and the second one is set data. So in the first uh, get data, uh, we're going to create a if block to check if uh, uh, the data exists inside the intent object. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, and here uh, click uh, uh, select uh, if get intent he has extra, and you need to pass here uh, my image, which is uh, the exact name for the key in which we passed uh, in the my adapter. Uh, okay, and uh, data one and data two as well. So only if uh, that data, those three data, uh, exist, uh, then we are going to execute uh, some function. And uh, if those, uh, uh, if that does not exist, then we are going to just add a simple toast message like uh, no data, for example. So using this uh, if block, uh, uh, basically we are going to avoid some runtime errors if there are. So here uh, we're going to uh, basically uh, create uh, two strings and one integer and we're going to store that uh, data from the intent inside those three variables so here let's uh, add data one equals to get intent get string extra and we're going to pass this uh, data one key so the key needs to be the exact one in order to get the right data uh, data two and uh, for the third one we are going to use a different method, uh, which is get int uh, extra. Okay, and here we're going to pass uh, my image view, and the second parameter will be a random number, in this case a one. So get data is basically completed. So we need to use uh, to create logic for a set data. It's pretty much easy. We're going to use two text views and the image view to set the data. So text title uh, text uh, set text to data one and the description set text to data2. And for the image view, we are going to use a method uh, that's not the right uh, name. Uh, our image view is named main image view. Okay, so set image resource, and we are going to pass uh, our my image uh, integer. Okay, and basically that's it. So inside on create method, we are going to initialize uh, get data and set data. So uh, you need to set those uh, methods here in a specified order. First, get data, and uh, second, set data. So let's run uh, our application and check it out. Okay. As you can see, we can see uh, the actual text, but uh, I think we should change the layout a little bit. I think we should uh, lower down the margins here from 100 to 30, for example. And now let's uh, run our application again. It should look uh, better. So let's open up, for example, Java. As you can see, we have a right uh, uh, text here, JavaScript, it shows the JavaScript, and uh, it works perfectly. So that would be it for, uh, for this, this uh, second part. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course, and uh, see you in the next video.